Hi there, viewers and gamers alike out there, and welcome back for more of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, as we are going to continue our story in progress. Lake Bed Temple number two. Two for one. Okay. Yes. The turning of the water wheel. It worked! Now, let's get this creature. And that is not a problem. Oh! Ow. What do you know? More water bombs. You can set water bombs underwater, but not while you're swimming, so... Yeah. You can use the claw shot while you're swimming. But you cannot set water bombs while you are swimming. You can set water bombs once you have the, uh... Once you have the iron boots. Right, it's turning! But I'm in the wrong side. I'm on the I'm at the wrong side. Get out! Not there. Right there should do nicely. The next room. We're most likely further to the back. Great. Electrified jellyfish. Not my favorite. Another chest to open. And it's not gonna be fitting in my wallet. I don't want to stay and find out and get electrocuted because I've seen enough. No way I cannot get there. Perhaps there might be a <laughs> Wow! Fallen off! Wow! That's two falling off! At least they're not dragons of Charles the Green Charles the Green Dragon's family, of course! Because I would feel terrible if they are a melt relative members of Charles's family, but then again, Charles is the Green Dragon. Uh. Out! Yes, I'm gonna open this hatch. I'm gonna drop down. Ow! Too bad! More water 
slow. Tight enough. But we don't have a boss key. We're going to need a boss key if we're gonna get in. And I know just where to go. Right here. I don't have time for the likes of you, though. <coughs> All right, with the water flow rising, this could work. I knew it. Down here. Oh, just nicked you. Just make it across. And I should be able to walk across this bridge here that floats on top of the water. Now you're wondering, how am I supposed to get here? Like this. <laughs> I just trapped that. I just trapped that Lizalpos in his own cage outside of it. I guess it's time for me to pay him the favor. Reptile is a match for me as the main hero, though. Alright, as much as I want to, but no, I'd rather not. There's another area that I have to go to and go back to double check. I'm not touching you, though. <coughs> you can't reach it. Why not go to the other side with the claw shot? Got it. Right here. No, that was no, that didn't cut it. And again, I am smart. right here. Ha! Let's say things are looking a little loose for the wear. Whoa! I am not right behind you, you know. Uh, it seems I cannot go that way. That's not a problem. I can turn this around. Now to get the boss key. It's, if 
I'm going the wrong way again. But I must be crazy insane. Nope, I'm going the right way. And this time... Launch myself. Just gotta relax. See if I'm able to land. Too bad. I don't think I'll be able to see. I should be able to hang on with just one arm. How is it possible with a claw shot that has so much chain within this? Can anyone tell me how much chain does this claw shot have? I mean, really. This is where it comes. This is where things get a little tricky in a a watery maze like this. Ah! I should swim for my life. Then I'm going to swim some more. Down we go. And that takes care of this monstrous clam without a muscle. I will let its own fishy device blow itself up of its own creation or something that works for me for my own advantage, of course. Oh, I need to relax. I, I'm swimming way too fast. Drop! Alright. Spin attack won't do. What do you know? Another treasure chest. More water bombs again. No one to drop. And no, you cannot shoot bomb arrows underwater because it doesn't work. Wow, it just swallowed my water bomb and it got blown to smithereens that is the first time i've ever seen a, a clam monster swallow my one of my water bombs 
and it exploded like Christmas. Should be able to drop nice and steady. And got myself the boss key! And now I should be able to get out of my way and head straight for the main center. Not a problem when this comes to mind. Do not try to use the claw shot while that electrical jellyfish is uh Find a way out of here. No, it's not my way out of here. I believe that is my way out of here. More of these dirge bats. The only way I'm gonna have to... Well, what do you know? Ah! Yes! I've kind of waited too long. Maybe I can get a good look around. Right. shot my way over there. Here, it's not even long enough. But I know a way when I have to see and wait. <laughs> all right. Now all I have to do is wait until I reach that little plateau. Now I'll just need to climb up. <laughs> All right. I made it out. Not bad for a hard day's work. A blue tech titan, whatever. You're done. I know something's up there! Alright! Next! Ah! Now if I can claw shot my way there... Wait! I'll have to do this with iron boots. <laughs> hey! 
And that will work. There was a chest right up here. A piece of heart. I now collected five pieces and have myself another heart container. Whoa! what we have in this chest here. 20 rupees! <laughs> Too bad! Alright. Okay, let's go inside this boss... Uh, boss uh, inside this area with the boss room is at, but it's really huge. Not a problem. Another fairy in a bottle for me. No! Why do I pick the wrong stuff? I know it's a long ways down, but it's a but someone's got to do it. Linda, there's something down there. Well, excuse me, princess. I was asking a question, though. <gasps> Down we go. Yeah, this huge area is like humongous. I should be dropping down in any moment. Made it! Looks like some type of giant tentacle. And it is a twilight monster if you want to know. One freaky giant Tentacle. With an eyeball? Let's see, Twilight Aquatic Morph. That's one great water fish bombs that'll eat me for breakfast, lunch, and dinner on a one course meal. Not today! Oh, my! Somehow it's kind of completely beyond my reach. That's three! It seems this Twilight Aquatic Monster Morphe wants to come out of its nest.
that is one big boss that swims underwater. It seems that this aquatic twilight monster is all dried out. Talk about a huge train. Not at the day of the beach with this twilight monster, which is also the very last fuse. Might one die. That's right. It will die. I'm still my being. It will really? help you be. To do something about Zant, yeah. You trust me. His power is a false one. You read the time. B. How are gonna think we will have one if you be? Well, you did wanted to look for all those three few shadows in the first place. It's nice of you to create a portal for me. A heart container! I have eight hearts, and it's not slowing me down. And it seems we are going to stop here for the time being. And don't you worry, we are going to continue to pick up from where we left off. And thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And tell me, what do you guys think of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess? Do you like it or hate it? Mash that like button or share this video. If you guys love hack and slash games such as myself, or what is your favorite Legend of Zelda game of all time? This is Leo Wolverine saying, and speaking as always as your friendly neighborhood spider cop, and not to mention your master chief who takes chances making mistakes and getting messy like peanut butter and chocolate or breakfast for dinner. When the going gets tough, the job gets it done for a breath of fresh air in Leo's Let's Plays Alliance. Yeah, I played all, well, all, everything I collected in 2014, all of it. Godspeed, play safe, and shalom. Several years later, I'm playing it again. Remember to fight with honor, love, truth, and justice. And see you guys next time for more of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. <laughs> Several years. Oh my.